loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we've got an August favourites video and I don't know why I haven't done one of these on my channel before. I watch them all the time. I love the favourites videos but I've never actually done one myself so I thought now we're back on YouTube and we're back regular. We've got the schedule back. I thought I would do an August favourites to round up the month. So I didn't want it to go on and on forever this video so I've only decided I'll do 10 to 12 items each month. So these are basically the things that I've been loving this month so far. So first up we're going to talk about my new perfume and I've wanted this perfume for so long. I kept going back and forth Selfridges to look at it and smell it. Do you know like when you need to get a smell? I kept going back smelling it on myself like spraying it and then seeing how long it lasted on me and how the smell changed. So after like the third Selfridges visit I came home and I, I sort of uh, went like this to Claudio like I think I've made the decision I finally worn it. And I was like, I'll, I won't purchase it now because it's quite expensive. I was like, let me just think on it for a little bit longer because I tend to do that with expensive purchases. Like, I like to think about them for a very long time. And I mean, it was like £130, I think, but still, I feel like it's a lot of money. And I feel like when you're committing to a perfume scent, you need to really, really know how it smells on you. So basically, I had the idea that I was going to buy it. And then me and Claudia actually went to Manchester to do a job. And when I finished the job, I called him and I was like, can I come meet you? Where are you at? And he was like, I'm outside South just come meet me and then when I met him he'd bought me the perfume so he'd gone in and bought it for me so I was so chuffed <laughs> because it was such a thoughtful present I mean it wasn't even for anything but I knew obviously that he'd thought about it because I'd been telling him about the perfume so the perfume I don't know if I say this correctly but I think it's called Bibliotech but I don't know like I, I actually don't know if that's the right word so please tell me if I'm wrong but it's by Radio Perfume so let me just get my face out of this so you can actually see so this is the perfume, it's by Rado and honestly it smells so good. My friend recommended by Rado, she said they'd last so long and she was buying gypsy water over and over and she said to me why don't you try gypsy water, it smells amazing and it does smell really good on her but I felt like gypsy water didn't quite smell right on me. So then when I tried the Bibliotech one, I hope I say that right, I just fell in love with it and it smells so good. Like I can't even tell you how good it is. I don't. I don't even know how to talk about perfume in like such a way that you know how it smells. But it's just so nice. So you have to trust me on that one. So yeah, this is my first sort of August favorite. I had it this month and I've worn it so so much already. I'm actually scared for it to go down. Like I'm watching it as I spray. I'm like free sprays only, <laughs> and trying to make this last hopefully because it's such a little bottle as well. Um, I think this is a 50 ml, yeah, 50 ml. But I will be buying the bigger one next time because I just love this scent. Next up is something I've been using a while, but I literally couldn't have done my August without it, and it is the GHG spray it's like a whole spray and now going back a couple of months ago before I had this I, I all my my curls do last quite long anyway but since I've had my new extensions put in if it's super clean like my hair when I come out the shower I wash it and then I curl it it doesn't last that long because it's fresh and clean you know what it's like it's like sometimes day two curls are better now I've got this, the curl spray is so much easier for me, like you just spray it on your hair when it's dry and before you curl it and it makes your curls last so much longer and I even tried this out on my friend who actually curls never stay in her hair and I said let me curl your hair and let me bring some of the GHD spray over, sprayed it all, um, dried it a little bit and then curled it and it lasted so much longer so I'm convinced that this actually works. So it's called Curly Ever After Curl Hold Spray and heat protection as well which is really good it's all in one spray so obviously I'm going to link everything in the description box below but this is something I've been loving this month and I will be continuing to buy and use next up we're going to talk about the banana low lighter from Rodiel I know you probably heard about this I feel like everyone was telling me to buy this before I actually did but I finally got it this month and I absolutely have been loving it it's kind of like a brightener rather than a concealer so I put my concealer on first underneath I got I use the NARS creamy concealer underneath my eyes and then I put the banana low lighter sort of on top I mean a little goes a long way with this product like I literally put it on my hands put it on my eyes and it's honestly a little teeny teeny tiny bit um will go a long way with this because I don't know why but it just lasts forever like I'm dabbing it in forever so basically I've just been putting like a dab there and then a dab there just to brighten up underneath my eyes I haven't really slept that well this month if you follow me on Insta. I've struggled to sleep I've been a little bit stressed so this has really helped me with like my under eye bags like they don't look so bad today but um they are bad underneath it believe me so yeah this has just been helping me with them and I'm loving it so I'll definitely be buying this again so next up this is a bit of a random one for an August favorite because it's hairspray but 
I basically used to use this hairspray so so much like years ago I think maybe like six seven years ago and then you stop being able to buy it on like look fantastic and cult and all them sort of websites so I thought it was good discontinued and then I was on Instagram and I saw an influencer talking about it um Sophie Milner she basically posted on her stories and she was like this hairspray is the best and I realized that that was the hairspray that I was using all them years ago and I thought it was discontinued and then she did a swipe up to it so I was like yes finally the, the hairspray is back so basically it's the perfect it says professional Sebastian reshaper so this is the hairspray it's so so good like it literally is the best hairspray I don't know how I did without this for so long but it's back in my life thanks to Sophie Milner I'll pop Sophie's Instagram below and yeah absolutely love it so I'm so so glad that I got this this month and now I can continue to keep buying it I actually bought this on Amazon I think so I'll link it below as well did I yeah I think it was on Amazon I actually found it so yeah definitely gonna be keeping buying that hairspray I mean don't judge my hair today because I'm having a bit of a bad hair day but um <laughs> the hairspray is good next up we are going to talk about these from booty pie now i've never tried spot patches before ever in my life and i used to have really bad acne but i never even i don't know why i just never bothered with spot patches or creams or anything i just figured like once i had a spot it was there and i couldn't do anything about it so i went to the booty pie pop-up like uh, beginning of august and i picked up a few things and these were one of the things i picked up and I, my skin has been so bad in August. I don't know what's happened. I think now we're coming to the end. It's like the change of season. I'm not really sure. Obviously, I've got makeup on now, so you can't really tell. But I promise, underneath, it's all lumpy. And it's all on my jaw. So I know that can sometimes be hormonal. Or maybe it was, like, eating bad. I ate quite bad this month. I wasn't really in my normal routine. So obviously, there's a ton of things it can be, like, when your skin's flaring up. So I've actually used... I wanted to show you what they looked like. But they're all gone. So I've used the whole box this month, which I don't know if that's like what you're supposed to do, but basically emergency pimple patches they're called. So I can't show you because they are all gone, but it's basically like a tiny little patch and when you feel like you've got a spot come in, you can just pop it on leave it on overnight or you can leave it for like two hours so with these it doesn't make the spot go away but it does kind of like calm it down so you know when you feel like a spot calm and it's quite painful like these have been quite painful around my chin and when it was just coming up and it was quite painful i just pop one of them on for the night and then when i wake up in the morning i do feel like it's sort of calm down a little bit like it's not as painful i don't know if they bring the spots out but they have been helping me like reduce the is it like inflammation that you have with spots? I'll read it to you so you know. So um, it's got salicylic acid and then two things that I can absolutely not say. It says helps to reduce visible pore size, smooth refresh and prevent clogging blackheads and breakouts. Powerful skin calming ingredients to smooth irritated skin and a multifunctional active that helps support skin barrier function and redness and the, pe uh, the appearance of redness. And it's got tea tree oil in it, which I know is calming for your skin. So yeah, I've just been popping them on um, as like sort of spots come up. And I think that it's been helping them calm down. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to use another box next month. Let us hope. Because I do feel like I'm finally at the end of it. Like it has calmed down a little bit today. I woke up today and I felt like it's calmed down a bit. You know what? It's just so, when your skin is irritating, it's just nothing worse is it. Like when you wake up in the morning you like automatically feel your face like I hate it like I've been waking up in the morning I've been like touching my face thinking right have I got any new spots have these calmed down and obviously because I used to have quite bad acne it just brought me straight back to the feeling of like not being comfortable with your skin and you know if you're not if you're struggling with acne at the minute like I totally understand and it's just so so rubbish like I feel like you have to have acne to understand how rubbish it can really make you feel so yeah um obviously now it looks fine and this is even the war I've had this break I've just nowhere near severe but um they have been helping me sort of calm them down as and when they've been popping up so next up what I've done with my hair with today I mean it's not the best judgment honestly today but um I've been using this for quite some time so probably longer than all August but I've re-bought a new pot in August so I thought I could still put it in <laughs> so it is the Quay Matte Pomade Pomade or Pomade um you basically put it in your hair so it's like a thing like that and then you it's like a wax or yeah I wouldn't call it a gel I would call it a wax so you have it on your hands and then I normally like rub it in just to melt it a little bit and then when I have my hair slicked back I'll use it to just slick it back that a little bit more and it kind of makes it look a little bit wet but it just looks so much cleaner when I do that so 
done judge today obviously but when i do my hair like slick back in a ponytail like with the middle part i love that look i find it so easy especially like if you're on holidays or if you're the weather's a bit rubbish and you just or if you can't bother to do your hair like on dirty hair days like three four five days after i do my hair wash it i sometimes just use that slick it all back and it makes me feel like put together without actually doing my hair so i do love this stuff um i'll link it below and this is, I think this is the big one. This is a hundred, oh, this is a 50 mil. I don't think it actually comes in a bigger one. I think it's 50 mil, but I absolutely love that product. Like, I swear by it. Next up, we have a pair of jeans. And now, obviously, I appreciate this is not gonna be for everyone, but I've been wearing them so, so much this August. So I wanted to include them. They are Topshop jeans. I bought them on ASOS. Obviously, I don't think you can buy Topshop without buying on ASOS anymore. And they're super, super long. I wanted to include them. I know it's obviously annoying if you're not tall, but if you are tall, it's really, really hard to find jeans long enough. So when I find a pair, I feel like I have to share it. So these are actually super long. They're like wide leg jeans, so they go all the way down. Look really nice with trainers. We could wear them with boots as well. I just feel like this is such a nice color denim for like autumn, winter. The waist just like, it's just a really nice fit on these and they are super super long so i know if you are tall it'll be a struggle to find jeans i'm gonna link these in the description box for you yeah they're just so tall and so comfy they've got a bit of stretch in them i probably should have sized down to be honest i went for a waist the waist 28 leg 36 and i probably should have gone to a waist just like lower because they are they've stretched now i've worn them so much you know like when jeans denim stretches and now they're a bit big and i'm wondering whether to go and get that waist tucked in just with the tailor but honestly i like been tailoring all my clothes lately and it's cost a fortune to get them tailored but it is worth it because then they look so so much better but yeah it's not ideal not the ideal scenario but i wanted to include them because i've been wearing them so so much next up if you saw my last video <laughs> thank you so much for watching every week but i wanted to include this again just because obviously i have had this now for a little while a couple of weeks and i just want to say how much i love it i'm so so surprised you know what when i when i add it i got this from cocoon so if you don't follow me or if you haven't you don't know i basically haven't bought this bag this month i rented it from cocoon so it's a subscription service so basically i rented this um at the beginning of the month and i'm just surprised how much i like it like normally i like to rent them to see like whether I'm gonna love it or whether I would potentially buy it in future. So it's obviously like a good way to just see the bag and sort of trial it. And I'm just so surprised how much I love this bag. Like I wanna wear it all the time. I just feel like it's the perfect size, like inside. And it's just so comfortable. Obviously there's a receipt in there, let me get that out. But look at the size, it's just such a good size. Like it fits so much in it. Like my camera can fit in there. Like I even fitted a small bottle of water in there the other night. And this is a small version, so I just can't believe how much it fits with the small version. And yeah, I just love that it's got a top handle. I love that it also got a over the body strap as well, if you wanted to wear it over the body. And I'm just surprised how much I've worn this, to be honest. And I just thought if you are thinking about buying this type of a bag, like the hourglass, I really do love it. And hopefully in the future I will buy one of these. Not now, <laughs> because I'm, I don't know, I just, I feel like not, now is not the moment for another bag purchase. Obviously I've gone with the Louis Vuitton one on my wish list. I'll pop a picture of you so you know. This has been on my wish list for a couple of months and I've even been thinking about getting it for my 30th, which is next month. So maybe that would be my final and only second designer purchase of the year. But I don't really like to buy that much stuff just because obviously it's so expensive and I like to think about it for a really long time. So I am thinking about getting the Louis Vuitton bag, possibly for my 30th. But I did want to include this just because I've worn it so much this month. And if you are sort of thinking about getting the Balenciaga Hourglass, I absolutely do love it. And I definitely think it's an amazing bag. Possibly one for the future for me. So next up, I'm going to talk about these sweats I got from Super Dry. And now I wanted to include these because I didn't actually know Superdry did this range. So I went into the store and they actually basically do this like really minimal range. Can you just see the embroidery on there? It's just like the um, the logos like embroidered rather than all over. And I just fell in love with this set. It comes in different colours but I got this chocolate colour. So they're just like super long loose um, bottoms here's the inside just for you to see like super soft inside it's not woolly but it's, it is soft and it's got the 
super dry there in embroidery but it's just like really low key it's not like super over branded which i really liked and then i've got the matching hoodie as well and i just feel like i'm gonna wear this so much like i love this color and i love the branding like this i just feel like it i don't know it was just so nice on i got the hoodie in a size medium i just love how long it is as well like i've got this in a medium large it's so long on me like sometimes i do struggle like when i buy matching sweats the 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 jacket or the hoodie is like quite short on my body so it looks a bit odd but this was so so long and just super comfy and again i just loved loved this color i'm gonna wear it so much this is actually new um but i just thought i'd include it because i'm excited to wear it and just absolutely love that so i'll link that as well below and they've got so much in this new range i also got like a little cute little crop top i should have actually showed that to you but it's just like a little um racer with the embroidery there as well it just looks so nice Nice. so that was the last sort of clothing and item that i've got to show you but i did want to mention two things before i go one i cannot find it and is one of the things my favorite purchases this month and it is a, a phone wireless charger it's a battery pack that you can stick on the back of your phone and i was gonna buy the apple one i read all the reviews and everyone was saying it was really good but then i went to the iStore store in london and i asked the guy and i was like is the apple one actually that good because it's double the price of all the other ones so the apple one's like 100 pounds pounds and then the other ones were like 50 quid and the guy said to me it is really good but the belkin one is even better he said it holds more charge so it lasts longer and it's half the price it was like 55 pounds so i bought it from the ice store i cannot find it in my flat today i don't know where it is it's probably one of my bags somewhere so i can't show it to you but it's about this big it just goes straight onto the back of your phone obviously you need to make sure it's compatible with your phone i've got the new one so it works on mine um i think it works on like the 12 or i don't really know or oh, there's so many iphones i can't even keep like a check on them so obviously make sure it is compatible for your phone if you want to buy one but honestly the belkin charger wireless is amazing so so good and i wish i'd bought it sooner so i'm gonna link that as well and then before we go i just wanted to show you something i discovered so i've been having gel nails for quite a while probably like two years and all of a sudden my nails just started snapping out of nowhere couldn't even do like a gel they just kept snapping and snapping so i've gone on to biab um builder gel so these are actually builder gel and i much much prefer i just want to show it to you i much much prefer it because it just lasts so so long so i've obviously had these freshly done because i am going on holidays on the weekend um just for a little weekend away so come pull my insta if you want to see that um i'll actually be there when i post this video so if you do want to see what i get up to when i be there come check my insta out but basically loving the biab the gel nails living for them so nice like i've got like a ombre effect oh, i'm sorry like the lighting in here is crazy today it's in and out but um I just love in these builder gels you can get them done in tons of places i know um the girl i got was mobile but they, they do them in loads and loads of salons i think it is a little bit extra than the gel but i've been really finding it helps my nails and my nails are becoming a little bit stronger underneath i've had them done twice now um with the builder gel and it's just lasting so much longer than than the normal gel so i wanted to also tell you about that as well i'm sure you probably already heard about it because i feel like i'm a little bit late on the builder gel by ab trend i feel like it's been going around a while and i am late on that but i thought i would show you anyway that is it for me and my august favorites i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like the video and drop me a comment on what you want to see from me next hopefully i can do another video like this in september for like some september favorites if you don't follow me on instagram yet come and say hi on there and i will see you guys next sunday